Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Good day, telepathic tradees. I'm on silent, and we're on the air with more Psychonauts. It's episode number six of Psychonauts, and the last episode we explored the inside of Sasha Nine's mind and dealt with sensors and learned how to, you know, fire things like telepathic pew pew pews, like that. Um, telepathic pew pew pews, of course, is a technical psychonaut term. And if you're not, uh, stop looking at me and giving me the hurry up, Raz. I'm explaining telepathic pew pew pews. It's a technical term for psychonauts. Anyway, we were going to go to Ford Sanctuary. I had uh, mentioned that in the end of the last episode. If you missed that, uh, the little card is at the top right of the screen. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. We had ranked up to 10, or I think past 10, in the last episode, so we've got our first power unlock. Work, dedication and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. The hell's Pyrokinesis? Well, Pyrokinesis is probably setting something on fire, which is probably a pretty cool power to have, and I imagine it becomes very helpful. It's a shame that they don't have... Ooh! Yeah, let's fire. Cool. I can't wait to burn... Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Waiting for Bobby to show up? Ah, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus, sir. But why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. That's depressing. When you could be burning stuff. <laughs> well, all right, so I'm guessing it's a right bumper. Hate. Great. You can do it. <laughs> I have to channel it and then combust. All right. Just look at something and then use your new power to set it on fire. Think. Heat. Yeah, I can use the same target thing that I can. Uh... Lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think. Heat. Yeah, you can. No. Oh. I was good to say, and it even has a little charge-up meter there. Work. Fire is pretty. Okay. <laughs> That's terrifying. You're free to go, but you have to promise me: only use your power, of pyrokinesis, only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> oh God. Don't worry, we've seen that uh, James Bond movie. Uh, if you've ever seen Live and Let Die, then uh, you'll remember how uh, Bond... That was the first Roger Moore one, wasn't it? R.A.P. Roger Moore. Uh, that was the one where he, the snake attacked him in the hotel and he used the hairspray. Or no, it was a... Uh, was it hairspray? Maybe it was like after shaving him in a spray can. He used that in his uh, cigar to... Uh, Create a makeshift flamethrower. Now, something in here is supposed to make psi markers. But I'm wondering if uh, Mr. Ford here will have the answer to that. Agent Cruller? John, how goes the training? So let's ask him what all the equipment what does. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Now, maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. All right. Uh, I better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Now, the reason why he's Rasputin with a Z is apparently because they could trademark that Rasputin with an. S, you uh, can't trademark because it's actual name, but Rasputin, you can trademark. 
Read that somewhere along the way. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp's camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee. Of course. And kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. And that's your tutorial for this thing. Alright, so we are at rank 13, so we've got 20 cards. That will be enough to get us to a level. Ah, yep, there's a rank up. And now, I think, do we have... I still need to buy a Psy core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make Psy challenge markers. Oh. Uh, oops. Yep. Well, let's go over to the store and buy ourselves a uh, Psy core and we can do the next uh, Psy challenge marker. Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Again with the burger, jeez. And we're back. No sense in holding on to the cards if we don't need them. We can just rank them up for a whopping 10, uh, 10 arrowheads. Now we're already up to rank 15. So we are halfway. Gee, we uh, got our first rank up in our, uh, our first new ability in this episode. In the last episode, we hit rank 10. And now we're already up to rank 15. Who knows, by, maybe by the end of this episode, we could hit uh, rank... Uh, rank 20, which would allow us to have a new ability. But I do believe that our progression brings us back to Agent 9's lab. Agent 9's lab, please. With pleasure. What happened to Agents 8 and 10? Ah, that's a terrible, that's a, a shitty, even by shitty dad joke standards. I, I mean, if we're being brutally honest, you know? I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay. Back to the brain tumbler because this didn't go catastrophically terribly the last time we were in here. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. You're not going to give us any advice on... How to handle, um, diving helmet spitting personal demons? So that gets us out. Are there any more? Oh, there's another door open, though. Now, there's two doors open. There was only one the last time. That's the brain tumbler experiment, which I think is us. And this is Sasha's shooting gallery. We only got one bag, which I thought we got a few more bags in the last episode. All right, so I guess we're, we're going to do the Brain Tumbler experiment. Return to the Brain Tumbler. We did that. Defeat that big monster I saw. All right, well, we can give that a try. As we endeavor to follow... Ah, crap, I forgot about you. Oh, yeah. No, wait, that's the button. I was pressing the wrong button. Ha, 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 ha. I'm role-playing as a pyro. <laughs> Alright, there's the pigment. I can't get...
Oh, that was it? I literally beat it one shot? Oh, and... Oh! Apparently I had a bag tag from the last time I was through here. And I found my European carry-all. Huzzah! Success. High stake. Hey, where'd it go? Don't tell me I imagined that whole thing. Uh, it would seem that you did. Well, we pick up some... Bits and bobs. Uh, they're not called bits and bobs, are they? They're called, uh... Figments. Oh. Okay. Oh! Eh, no, I got it. But we did rank up. We're up to 16. I got up. I thought I saw the thing go off to the side and... You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Dang. Does that ever work? Well, I don't know if it ever does, but we're just going to wreck face. You know why? Because I'm a bad, bad... Uh, what the hell is Rasputin, anyway? Uh, is, is, is he a bad, bad man? Oh, take... Wombo combo time! But there, we got a, uh... Oh, can I get back up? Yep. We can get up to... Oh. Grab that figment. We can get back up to the mental baggage, emotional baggage. Ah, oh, well, kiss my ass. So... so we'll hop onto there. Just around the, uh... Weird, um, I don't know what the hell that was. And, uh, pick up some more emotional baggage. Tag him and bag him, Doc. Let's go. Now, um, the bunny is down there. Oh, well, we found... Ah! They're mini-sensors! Homicidal mini-sensors. All right, well, I guess we got them. I was hoping I could do a little more exploring of whatever was up there, but uh, maybe we can backtrack for just a mo moment. We'll climb up a lot more. Ah, balls! Hang on, let's try that again. All right, there we go. We got it that time. And I think I've, I've run out of all that for a couple of figments. All that work and I got two frickin' figments. Well, I guess that'll do. I guess we can pick up more figments. Ah, we've got a range sensor. And a uh, suitcase bag. And we'll just ha on faster. Well, we will close the range bit, and we'll shoot him, and sh shoot him until he has become an X sensor. He's pining for the fjords. It's not pain, and it's passed on. <laughs> Anybody else hear something crying, or is it giggling? I can't tell. Oh. Oh, it's the the uh, suitcase tag, or the suitcase for the tag. It's nice that everybody, and in, in a mental world, trying to kill you, that uh, there are things that are friendly and buddy-buddy like that. Now we will uh, backtrack for some figments. Oh! Well, found you, but I don't have a duffel bag bag tag yet. So we know where the final bag is. We just need to find a tag for the final bag. Um. Ah, crap. Take that. I'm getting ambushed here. And you wonder why I don't play any goddamn horror games on the channel. It's like, seriously. 
Yeah, I set them all on fire. I set them all on fire. I set myself on fire. Well, that went, um... That was a thing. I, uh, did not intend to set myself on fire. Um... But, uh, you know what? If it works, I'm not going to complain. Ah, crap. Uh, crap. What's that song? Um, who does fire? I'm going to sound like a, such a damned idiot. Now, this is not the one I just saw, was it? Ah, it was. Okay. Or I picked up another tag along the way and just did not notice. Oh, well. You know, whatever. I'm still learning. I do apologize if it seems completely discombobulated, but you know it is a blind let's play. I mean these things tend to happen in blind LPs where you're just completely lost. And I'm trying to get through the classics. Ah just run. <laughs> like I said, this is why I don't play horror games on the damn channel, because it just be it just be like me screaming for Oh, balls. Well, we blew them all up there. So that works. We've got a bell. Kind of like a Taco Bell bell. There we go. We've almost... Do I have to cook this thing? I think I'm cooking this thing. I'm holding it down. It's not doing anything. Do I need to, like, rank up? Oh. I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's just move on. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area. Here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but... That's... Dogen. Have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong <laughs> with my brain, doctor? How should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep. Mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! It's insane in the brain. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. <laughs> Get back! No! Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim this spooky thorn tower. Okay, so we've got to get inside the nightmarish tower. <laughs> well, I mean, as advertised, I suppose, right? Hey, we ranked up and we picked up the, uh, and we've got a, I, I, I'm, I'm losing track of the number of tags I have because now I've picked up the tag for this thing and unlocked this. And since, um... All emotional baggage sorted. By a dowsing rod at the camp store. Alright. Maximum depth perception increased. Or projection depth. <laughs> see, it's one of those things. You see words and your brain just puts them together for you. Uh, I've got another vault in my head. I gotta pick up this thing. Uh, punch vault. Punch vault. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff right now. Because, um, I know that this is the only episode of the game this week. Alright, slowed it down a little bit. No, I didn't slow it down enough. We put on the Benny Hill music. We put on the Yakety Sax. Oh, there we go. The world shall taste my eggs. What? Huh? 
Oh, he says frog. I think. And death laser. And what the shit is going on? Okay, what the hell was that? I'm seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ugh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? Oh, for the love of God, Sasha. All right, up the creepy, um, the, the creepy thorn thing. Is that what he called it? Bastard. You die now. All right. We are following the bunny up the creepy thorn thing toward the uh, creepy nightmare tower. And... And for whatever reason, I just cannot. You must, must lose your levitation patient power. I don't know how to levitate. Well, that's a problem. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. That doesn't sound very E-rated. Forsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Well, I do believe, I do believe, I do believe we will leave it there for today. But uh, next week when we're back with more Psychonauts, we will earn that levitation badge and try and figure out what the hell is going on in our own head and uh, figuring out why a dentist is trying to extract Dogen's brain through his nose. But that's not until next week on Psychonauts, so until then, thank you very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget to check out more Psychonauts. Playlist is on the screen in the description down below. More of my videos on the right. And do hit the subscribe button or hell, even the like button too if you want to see more of them. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.